Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on a telegram channel called Secret History. Please check the description to know more about the channel. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. The Koh Kher Pyramid in Cambodia, with a shaft into the underworld, from which no one has yet returned. The complex is about 35 square kilometers. Agree, very huge for the time. And the time refers to the reign of the remarkable Khmer King Javerman IV, who ruled the country from 921 to 941. An amazing ruler who built so much in 20 years of rule, according to historical records. It is not the Pyramid of Cheops for 20 years, there is a whole megalithic complex with several temples. Sandstone, laterite, and brick were used to build the city. The main buildings were built from sturdy sandstone blocks of rather impressive size. The temple complexes of Koh Kher and the architectural ensembles were not replicated even by the architects of Angkor Wat in skill and uniqueness. The largest petrified tree in the world, 72 meters long, is in Thailand. It takes 200,000 to 2 million years for a tree to turn to stone in the ground, as the official science version. In the photo, you can clearly see the depth of the burial. A couple of meters from the surface, the tree is more likely to rot under the influence of the air than to become petrified. Perhaps the timing of the tree turning into stone is different from the canonical ones. The official science lies to us. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Alton Teshik, Golden Hole. Alton Teshik means Golden Hole. The grotto is located at a height of 52 meters. Archaeologists found mammoth bones and tools of ancient people, but the most remarkable find was a remarkably preserved 150,000 year old skeleton of a Neanderthal woman with a child, as well as tambas, land signs of the Sarmatians, which indicated the residence of the tribe in these caves. The cave is especially interesting for archaeologists because they managed to establish that many thousands of years ago, it was a dwelling place for ancient people. Akaya served as a shelter from bad weather and as a corral during animal hunting, according to excavations of the 1960s. Myth, Fiction or Reality the clay tablets of Sumer named five cities that existed before the flood, Haridu, Bab Tibur, Larak, Sipur, and Shurupak. If the flood is fiction, then the cities are fiction too. But there were archaeologists who were open-minded skeptics. They found the cities of Haridu, Sipur, and Shurupak, and during the excavations, they found traces of a great flood. The notorious flood of which the biblical texts tell us was based on a real event. It is time to stop thinking of the myths as the author's sick fantasy. They can lead researchers to sensational discoveries. The 1933, a 90-ton stone with the Ten Commandments engraved on it was found in New Mexico. 
There are only two problems, the inscriptions are in ancient Hebrew, and research has established the age of the inscriptions at 500 to 2000 years ago. This suggests that a carrier of Hebrew came to ancient Mexico before Columbus is unrealistic, from the standpoint of official history. The assumption that the stone was brought already engraved to the American soil does not stand up to criticism. Specialists have already confirmed that the mineral is purely of local origin. However, judging from the previous posts, America before Columbus was a passing yard. Hunters found a giant mummy near San Diego, USA, in 1895. The mummy was studied at the Smithsonian, and the results were shared with the public. The authenticity was confirmed by the museum's chief anatomist, Professor Lucas, as well as Professor McGee. A year later, the aforementioned specialists issued a statement that the mummy was a fake. The public demanded an independent examination. The answer was, the mummy was destroyed, because it is a fake, and is of no value or scientific interest. What do you think? The killing of the giants in the picture. If you look closely, you can see, that on the bottom right, is a normal person. It is not a child. Children were depicted with different proportions. The head is one-fifth of the body in children, and one-sixth of the body in adults. In the center engraving, the giants killed an even bigger giant. What were they even doing there in those days? Excerpt from History the doors from the Curia of Julia moved in 1660 and made the central gate of the Roman Basilica of St. John Lateran, Rome. The photo shows their gigantic size, with handles at human height and the locking latch at. I don't know whose height would be adequate to safely close the latch, but four average human heights fit comfortably within that height. The deadbolt is on the inside of the gate, and you can't close it quickly if you need to, for example, in case of an attack. A city of short people. In the remote desert of the Iranian province of South Khorasan lies the village of Mahinik. It is reminiscent of many poor modern Iranian villages with squat houses made of clay and stones, but in fact, it is believed to be a very ancient settlement. The most common age is said to be 1500 years, but traces of buildings that were at least 5000 years old have been found here. Now, a little more than 500 people live here permanently, but the houses they live in were built much later. Because in the 200 ancient houses, modern people would be very cramped. The fact that houses in Mahinik are designed maximum for small children, people with height greater than 90 centimeters will be banal, impossible to be inside any house. And the old local name of the village Shari Kodaliha translates as the city of short people. What do you think? What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.